Hello everybody, welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. My name is Ray. Today we will be talking about a new woke Methodist denomination. And this denomination is called the Liberation Methodist Connection. So we're going to be taking a look at their beliefs today. And I think this is actually a pretty uh, unique uh, circumstance. Because usually theological liberals do not build denominations they take them over. That has been the history of several denominations that were once faithful. You do see occasional splits, such as the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship, which split from the Southern Baptist Convention as a result of the conservative resurgence. But that is a minority situation, so we're kind of seeing another uh, likewise situation because the Methodist Church just can't become woke enough fast enough for these people. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. So without further ado, let's take a look at their website. Welcome, beloved. So this, these are uh, their beliefs. We are a grassroots denomination of former, current, and non-Methodist faith leaders working on unfolding, working on the unfolding of the kingdom of God. We intentionally invite the full participation of all who are living out their God-given identities and expressions, including but not limited to. So take a look at this list. We have gender, gender expression and sexual identity. So they are woke. They believe in all the gender stuff. Religious or non-religious backgrounds. Okay, so basically anyone. Heritage, nationality, citizenship, immigration status. That's just a nod to the issue of illegal immigration races and ethnicities of course size so fat people that's what that's talking about physical or mental age i kind of thought this was a homage to uh pedophilia because you know if you you know it could be talking about like um conditions where someone is mentally a child but you know they're like 30 years old these things happen um but you know if you really go out of your way to make this distinction it could be used to justify pedophilia because you know some pedophile will molest a nine-year-old and claim that they were mentally a 25 year old that has happened in a court of law before just kind of a weird thing to emphasize incarceration status living with hiv and any other chronic uh, medical conditions Okay, that really needs to be specified. Socioeconomic housing status. Monogamous or non-monogamous? So they are actually uh, celebrating orgies here or orgy relationships here. Uh, hair color or styles. They want the blue-haired feminist uh, mental, physical, or disability. So, okay. Uh, use of drugs. So marijuana and heroin are welcomed in the LMX. And education level. So as you can see, this is a denomination that is going to accept anyone in anything. They didn't actually, maybe not species. They might not let a goat into their worship service, but you never know. You never know. So this denomination has the word liberation in their name. That is a reference to liberation theology, which is an attempt to mix Marxism with Christianity. So that's kind of the uh, origin story of this uh, denomination's theology. So as you can see, you see the Marxism in their uh, statement here is built on what currently is on the expectation of what is yet to come. We are journeying towards a new way of being followers of Christ that refute the imbalance of powers, principalities, and privileges that have plagued Methodism. And these are colonialism, white supremacy, economic injustice, patriarchy, sexism, clericalism, ableism, ageism, transphobia, and heteronormativity. So this is a completely Marxist framework that they have here. And, you know, it goes to show when the Methodist church cannot be woken up, who can be? Who can be? And that's why Christianity offers hope that the social justice gospel cannot. With Christianity, Jesus is enough. 
you don't have to run the hamster wheel of always trying to be more woke. And that's what the Methodist Church got themselves into, and, and the LMX here does not believe that they are woke enough. So get this, LMX theology is not written in stone because our human understanding continues to evolve as we deepen our personal and collective understandings of God. We have been expanding our Methodist theological heritage with various expressions of liberation theologies, theories, and praxis. God remains infinitely gracious, creative, merciful, and engaged with creation, healing, and redeeming the world. So, like I said, uh, liberation theology earlier, they uh, tip their hat to that here uh, explicitly. So, this is our list of LMX collaborators. As you can see, they all have pronouns in their bio because they are all extremely woke, and those are the rules. But some of them add their race in their pronoun sections instead of their possessive pronouns. So, they brown lat tanks is this person. Um, we got pronoun Kai. His first name is also his pronoun. Got it, Kai. Uh, they, them. Uh, this is they, them misspelled. And we also see a she white. Or, oh, sorry, a white she. she. This person is a white she. So, as you can see, very woke uh, personnel here. And I guess they have an interim wisdom council. Poorly named, but all these asterisk names are part of that. So I guess that's the denominational leadership. And that concludes our tour of the LMX. Powered by Jesus, they say. So this is the new woke Methodist congregation, and I guess the United Methodist Church will either have to step up their game or return to orthodoxy, but these people are challenging the Methodists to uh, become more woke, and we'll see how this turns out. I think this is a very interesting experiment because, like I said, uh, theological liberals generally tend to take over existing institutions not create their new one. This is called the long march through the institutions. And that's how you kind of take over our culture. And that's how uh, this ideology of neo-Marxism has been taking over our culture. So that's what I wanted to discuss today. My name is Ray. If you like what I said, do subscribe. This is a channel dedicated to fighting uh, heretical ideologies threatening the church. And in this video, we're talking about the social justice gospel and that how this denomination is explicitly proclaiming it. So if you want to help me fight this ideology, do help support my work and check out the Evangelical Dark Web website. I will link that in the description below. Of course, if you like what I said, do give me a like and subscribe to also support content like this. Uh, leave a comment below to let me know what you think about what I think, and I will catch you on the next one.